The Experimental Aircraft Association is bringing the first ever mass-produced airliner to Dickinson County. Yeah, it's a 1929 Ford Trimotor aircraft, and it'll be spending the weekend at the Ford Airport. TV6's Iron Mountain Kingsford Bureau reporter Monique Lopez took a ride and tells us more about this rare aircraft. Almost everyone has either driven or been a passenger in a Ford vehicle, but rarely do you get the chance to fly in one. Yesterday, members of the media got to experience a little bit of 1920s history and hopped aboard a Ford. They're not making any more of these planes, and uh, with regulations as they are in our, in our world today, uh, who knows the day comes when uh, uh, government says we can't fly people in these old airplanes. So this is a huge opportunity, and it may not come up again for people in the local area. From 1926 through 1933, Ford Motor Company built 199 tri-motors. EAA's Model 4 ATE was the 146 of Ford's innovative assembly line and first flew on August 21, 1929. Known as the first luxury airliner, the Ford tri-motor redefined world travel and marked the beginning of commercial flight. It was rebuilt uh, through the 70s and uh, went back online with us and they flew it at our home grass airstrip in Oshkosh and several years ago they decided to take it on the road and kind of be an outreach program for EAA. The public is also now able to take part of this rare opportunity. Beginning today through Sunday, people can pay $75 to fly aboard the Ford. And for a few more dollars, some can even get the chance to be a co-pilot. If you'd like more information on how you can get your chance to fly the Ford, visit our website at UpperMichiganSource.com. Monique Lopez, TV6 News, Kingsford.